Hello everyone! Uh, sorry about only one video yesterday and I didn't even think I would manage to do one video today uh, because yesterday uh, I had a tournament game also, I had a tournament game today. Uh, yesterday I lost against an international master from Bosnia and today I won a game against a ca candidate master. Uh, in the game I lost I played like really really passive and uh, my opponent punished me so it was well deserved. Uh, and in the game I won I was, uh, I, I think overly active even even more active than I should have been uh, but in the end it all worked out so I'll probably show both of these games uh, but uh, like I said I wasn't planning on doing a video today uh, but I saw a lot of you said uh, do video Anand versus Grishchuk and I said okay I'm gonna check out this game as uh, I was playing the, the tournament uh, I couldn't really follow um, the uh, Tal's memorial uh, that was being played from 2nd to 4th uh, of uh, March uh, but then I saw the game and I said, okay, I definitely have to do this game today as uh, uh, Vishwanathan Anand won Tal's Memorial and uh, this game, it's, it's really like, uh, you know, uh, it reminds you of the style of Mikhail Tal, so uh, it would be a shame not, not to show it. So Anand opens with e4 uh, and we have c5 by Grishuk, uh, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, knight to c6 and now bishop to b5, the Rosolimo attack. Uh, also sometimes called the Nejmeddino attack. Uh, g6, uh, we have bishop captures, d captures on c6, and now d3. Bishop to g7, uh, we have h3, not allowing bishop to g4. Uh, knight to f6, now knight to c3. Castles, we have bishop to e3. Uh, b6, uh, queen d2, preparing queen to uh, bishop to h6. Uh, e5, and now the immediate bishop to h6. And so far, all, all is well on the board. Uh, queen to d6, developing the queen, uh, ready to develop the light square bishop and to connect rooks. Uh, we have queenside castle, now comes a5 and g4. Uh, a4, king to b1 and bishop to e6 now. Uh, here Anand plays knight to e2. He's uh, remaneuvering the knight to g3 and then, depending on what black plays, to either f5 or h5 uh, if, if possible. Uh, so we have uh, b5. Anand goes knight to g3 and now rook f to d8. Uh, bishop captures on g7, king captures on g7 and now queen to g5. Uh, now you can see that knight to f5 is already a threat as the g pawn is pinned. Uh, we have knight to d7 here. Uh, black, black is preparing to push f6. Uh, for example, if white would continue with something slow like h4, uh, then black can simply play f6, kicking away the queen. After the queen moves, now he can capture the pawn here. Uh, and after white continues with his attack, simply rook to h8 and black, black is defending. Uh, so after this knight to d7 move, uh, Anand went for the immediate knight to f5. This comes with check, uh, checks the king, uh, also forks the queen, so you do have to capture the knight. You have to capture with the bishop as the g pawn is pinned. Uh, so bishop captures, now g captures on f5 and here we have a3. So how do you continue now? Of course first b3. Uh, and we have h6 now, kicking away Anand's queen. Uh, queen to g3, and uh, here again, you have to do something uh, to prevent white from attacking with black. Uh, you can't really lock the position with g5 because white will simply push h4 and uh, white, is, white is breaking through here. Uh, even with f6, you can simply capture, capture, and even capture now with the knight on g5. Pawn captures, queen captures, and you're getting checkmated here. Uh, king goes, rook check, king f7, queen h5 check, king moves, king uh, rook to h7 check, king moves, and queen to f7, uh, it's a forced checkmate. So after this queen to g3 move, uh, Grishchuk uh, decided to go king to h7. Uh, Anand plays rook h to g1 now, not allowing uh, Grishchuk to, to capture on f5. Uh, we have queen to f6, and now comes h4, and now g captures on, h5, uh, on f5. And now you can't... Uh, capture here uh, with some idea of captures, captures and checkmate, uh, although black can always go rook to g8, uh, but uh, just you know for for showing black has this e4 move and then uh, you lose a piece, your knight is attacked uh, and there's the threat of uh, queen to g2 checkmate. So black does have this resource uh, if white isn't careful. Uh, so Anand plays queen to h3, uh, now we have f4 and rook to g5. And uh, you can't, of course, capture the rook. If you capture it, you lose the queen after h captures on g5. So uh, Grishuk played queen to e6. And uh, now, what do you do here? Uh, Grishuk is attacking Anand's queen here uh, on h3. 
Uh, so Anand simply blocks it, rook to f5. Uh, we have knight, uh, rook to g8 now, and uh, this is uh, uh, this is actually the, the mistake that cost Grishchuk the game. Uh, here he has to play f6. f6 is an essential move here. Uh, it prevents this rook from making any useful discoveries on the queen, and also uh, now both h and, g and uh, f pawn are guarding the g5 square. Uh, and uh, Grishchuk missed Anand's next move, so otherwise he definitely would have played f6. Uh, but he played rook to g8, and uh, it's a very nice, uh, <laughs> very nice position for you to solve. Uh, you are Anand here. Uh, feel free to beat Grishchuk. Um, pause the video. You know, find the solution. And don't like uh, if you found the move, don't think you solved it immediately. Uh, maybe uh, try to find it. Uh, you know, all the way. So I will give it a couple of seconds, as always. Um, so for those of you who were able to solve this, congratulations, you are an excellent player. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, uh, here Anand played knight to g5 check. So what do you do here? The king is in check, uh, the queen is also attacked, so you do have to capture the knight. Uh, we have h captures on g5, and here, uh, if you found h captures on g5, then you would not be beating Grishuk, as now black can simply defend king g7. And now you have no way of actually continuing this attack. If you go rook to h1 to try and do something, then king simply escapes. Uh, and if you try something like queen h6 check, captures, captures, king can capture, and there's no real way uh, for white to, to gain any advantage here. R you can capture, but uh, black can simply block, and black will always be up a piece. Uh, so, after this knight to g5 check, uh, that was a good move if you found it, h captures, but now, not capturing on g5 immediately, uh, but first rook captures on f7 with check, and now black is completely lost. Uh, now Anand is attacking Grishuk's queen on e6, also the king is in check, so you either have to move the king and then lose the queen, uh, or you have to capture the rook. So Grishuk captured it, and now comes h captures on g5 with a discovered check, uh, but now it's completely different, as black can either give up the queen with queen to h5, or he can play king to g6 or king to g, uh, g7 or g6. Uh, doesn't even matter, uh, whatever black plays, Grishuk played king to g7, and now comes queen to h6, and this is checkmate, the queen and rook are blocking uh, any escape the black king might have. So, that's the game, I do hope you enjoyed it, and uh, what a way uh, for Anand, the, the reigning rapid world champion, to win uh, such a strong tournament like Tal's Memorial. And uh, I do have here uh, a photo of the final uh, position here, Grishuk is congratulating Anand on his win, you have the, you see the queen on h6, uh, the black king is in checkmate, and uh, you can see uh, by the time on the clock, Anand finished the game with uh, 4 minutes and 46 seconds, and the Grishchuk only had uh, 43 seconds, so, uh, you know, Anand is, uh, like, really fast. And uh, not only this, I also have for you uh, a photo of the final standings of this tournament. As you can see, uh, it, was, it was a pretty close tournament. Uh, Anand won it with 6 out of 9, uh, 4 wins, 1 loss, and 4 draws. His only loss was uh, against uh, Shakri and in round 3. Uh, then Mamed Yarov in second place, uh, Karakin and Nakamura, all of them with five points. Then Grishuk and Gelfand with four and a half. Uh, Kramnik and Dubov with four, and then Nepomniachtchi and uh, Svidler with three and a half points. So an extremely strong tournament. I believe the, the average uh, ELO rating of the tournament was over 2,750. So you know it's. Uh, but Anand is the world uh, rapid reigning chess champion, so uh, it's not really not really a surprise. Good for him. So yeah, uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow I will see if I will be ready with my uh, Tal Botvinnik series, or, or first maybe I will show my two games from the tournament. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I would like to thank Jake Douglas for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. And uh, have a great uh, rest of the Sunday.